Yeah, just a quick one. I mean, I've just done a little one, a little one there, but just a quick one, yeah. But, um, please like and subscribe, but it's, you haven't got to, you know what I mean? This is a quick one about what I've just said. Um, but you know what? In the old days, I mean, not the old days, 70s, 80s, 90s, even used to have people like Ronnie Bender, Frankie Fraser, Terry Coombs, the Tibbses, all these people, yeah, that I met in prison, right, especially Frankie Fraser and David and Patrick, they would talk, never ever put your photos on the wall. Don't put your photos on the ball. They give you a picture for ball to put your photos on. Who wants that? Don't put your pictures on a board. When you get a letter, if you don't whip it up, take the address off you. Take the address off in the corner. Now, I don't write letters, do they? But take your address off in the corner. Everybody can listen to your phone calls now. Stand behind you, listen to your calls. Get to know you, tell them where you live, tell them everything, mate. Prison's gone backwards, not forwards. It's gone backwards, you know. Everybody that I knew in my days, yeah, could smell a rat here, yeah? could smell it. You'd know, you'd know, mate. Don't worry about it, you'd know. And they wouldn't last two seconds. And if they did, and we'd found out, mate, they was in trouble. Sometimes they even go down a seg unit and we sort it out ourselves. Even if one of us has got to go on solitary and get nicked after doing what you've got to do, we would do it because it's what it was in. It was in our prison system to do those things. Yeah. Frank was a, Frankie Fraser, mate. Was a little man, very dangerous man. But I've got to say it. He talked sense. He talked a lot of sense. You know. Why do you want to put your letters up? Why do you want to put leave your letters in a box? Why do you want to leave the address on them? Why do you want to put photographs on a wall? See, people like Frankie Fraser, yeah, how they survived is because they were dangerous and they was against the system. Because, because they was da dangerous and against the system, they got single cells no matter where they went. Wandsworth, the Scrubs, Winchester, all these, all these allocated prisons, allocation prisons, the senior officers in prisons, they got into single cells. Because of the trouble that they caused, they had to lose plenty of emission, but they used to get in single cells. They would be put in a two up, three up cell. Because people in there, you don't know who they are. You're going in you're going in the cell off the street into a cell, not knowing who's in that cell with you. It could be a paedophile, it could be a rapist. You know what I mean? But as I say, you smell it out, you do smell it out, and it's uh, and they're in trouble when they do. I mean, people mark your cards, and then you've got to deal with it yourself. We do deal with it yourself, but later on, when you've done a bit of sentence, uh, we become, I become one of the enforcers in prison, yeah, to sort that problems out, make sure these people that are paedophilias and sex offenders are get sorted out, mate. I mean, they get looked after by the prison system, Believe it or not, the prison system looks after them. It isn't so much the screws faults. It's the governors, the deputy governors, the AGs, all them sort of all them sort of people that are told to look after their people. You know what I mean? It's terrible, mate. And I've got through lots of trouble in my sentences over that. Yeah. But I'm just saying, right? Please, you know, um, my hands goes out to Frankie Fraser. My hands goes out to people like Ronnie Bender. The Tibbses, the Frasers, all that lot, mate. The Tony Lawrence, all them people that have done Big Bird and know how to do it properly and sorted these problems out. When you go in there, and you maybe been in prison before or whatever, but when you go in there, they, they mark your cards, mate. They mark your cards and they go in the cell. Listen, you go in the, in the prison that I used to go into, you go in a wing. You're going to get visitors, mate. You're going to get visitors within an hour. Come in your cell. Want to know what you're in for? Show us your paperwork. Want to know everything about you, even the paperwork. These people, screws, not so much screws, the governors, AGs or whatever, and these Home Office, sort, you, sort it out, 
so you don't find out who it is. But being the way we were, you do find out, you know what I mean? You get people in the, in the office, you get you, you, you can get it sorted, yeah? You can get it sorted, you know what I mean? So, listen, this is uh, Ray Bang Bang Hill. I know I've been keeping on about this um, thing, but my mate Terry Ellis, I really like him a lot, and he talks sense. He talks a lot of sense. He's right into this knife crime and things like that, yeah? But I don't know if you noticed, but since they've opened all the borders and let these people across who come from war countries, war zone countries, that there's more stabbings than anything. There's more women getting raped. There's more kids getting molested. It's because of that. It's because of that. You're letting people in our country that don't really know our laws. We know our laws. We've been growing up with our laws from our mums, our dads, our aunties, our uncles. We've grown up for their laws. We know what we can and what we can, can't do. But they come over here, they don't care about our laws. What's the fucking law? Mate, the wars are here, they don't care. They've, they've been fighting all their lives. Why should they be fighting our, our, our system? It's a nothing system to them. Come on, anyway, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, I said don't really worry about that, but you know, but please like and subscribe. Um, I'd love, honestly, I'd love, I'd love people in prison to let me know what it's like in there, you know what I mean, at the minute, yeah? I mean, it was bad enough when I, in my last sentence when I was reminded and I see what it was going to, going to be like, you know what I mean? It's gone crazy. Anyway, take care, have a nice day and it's pissing me rain, yeah? Bye-bye.